Hello, so we're at Donington for our track evening session. We've got here a bit early, so there's some bikes on track. And we are here, yeah, it's just falling off and we're in the gravel, he's just been towed towed out. I think he's okay though. So yeah, we do on in, um, in about two hours, there's some bikes going around. I've already swapped my wheels, I've got to do signing on, briefing, and we'll be back out. We've got a garage rented, so we'll be in the garage soon, and uh, I shall uh, stick the camera back on and show you what's happening. So I've just switched the camera off, and this guy here has just got back on his bike, and within an instant that I'm starting, let's see if I can zoom, someone else is off, and there's an ambulance. Bikes are dangerous, people. Stick to cars. Oh, look at my car, looking all lovely and shiny. Ale 48's on. I don't think I've ever seen these wheels on it before. I have, it's the first time I've been running them. I painted them up about six months plus. And I haven't had a chance to use them, so today will be the first. David's yelling his Civic. Um, between you and me, he's been chomping my chops about he's going to beat me around the track for weeks and weeks and weeks in his type R. And by right, he should. He's got about 25, 30 horsepower more. Um, he's got a better suspension set up. And he has got slicks to use later, so we shall see. Right, let's go and get ourselves signed on now and get a briefing out the way. Okay, so I won't be showing any full track sessions in this video, but this is just a little short taster of a session I did when um, Nath Rowe was behind me in his focus and uh, David's behind, so stay tuned for a full track session coming soon. A bit of wind blowing through here, so I'm trying to cover the ice because David's chucking some old slicks on because he's now determined he's going to go faster than me. We were pretty even on track then, but I don't think I can beat him really. You know, and get slicks, he might just have too much for me. So I'm trying my best, I'm trying to build my courage. I can't take Kranos flat out as much as I want to, it's just I, I am got the nerve forever. There you are, I'll keep trying. See what we can do, so speak to you a bit. Right, so yes, I got a bit of each you down the market is coming to me, but I just lost it on crane as the one thing I'm most afraid of and it happened. And it was massive. I think I flat spot the tires. I hopefully got it on two cameras. But it was amazing. <laughs> Tires are hot. Tires are cooking hot. I tried to go down Craners too fast and it bit me in the bum. Right, I'm gonna have a look at these tires now and I'll get back to you in a bit. Right, so it's looking at the tire. Look at that. It's just it's gone so soft. So I think it's delaminated as well. So it was obviously on that spot when I lost it. So 
so that here is a dead one. Oh yeah, you can see it all down there. Wow. That was mega. Is it? Oh, that's a hell of a flat spot. So I've done a set of tyres in, but wow, what an experience. Right, so yeah, the reason why I flat spotted I'm so bad, to be honest, was um, obviously clearly I wasn't good enough to save the spin. But I, I read something on on the internet quite a while ago, something racing drivers talk if you're in the spin two feet in, and I just went through my head when, when I knew I'd lost it. Clutching, I braked as hard as I could and it brought the front end back up. So that's what killed the tyres, but it saved me spinning off into the gravel and having uh, a worse situation. So anyway, I'm calmed down a little bit. I am ready to go back again. So let's get back out there. Right, so wheels and tyres swapped. I've got the Team Dynamics on now. We've got ADO8R on the front and Federal RSR on the rear. I've used them lots of times. So we're going to go back and see what they can do. But to be honest with you, the grip on the AO4 date's been so old. It was, wasn't as good as I was expecting. I put a lot of tyres off and on. You would have seen them in previous videos, but they are. They wreck now, but I didn't feel the grip was good enough. I never really built enough confidence in them, but obviously you can see that one's gone there. I could not include my fastest lap of the evening in this video, so this is it. In this session I do a 1 minute 24.47, which is my quickest to date on um, these tyres. So enjoy this lap, but I did mess up the first corner. So this is um, Nate's SD 170. Say hi, Nate. Hi. Hey, people should come to your channel. 170 Row. Uh, so. On YouTube. 170 Is it? I can't remember. I think it's 170 Row. But it's bad times, the breakdown, manifolds cracked, which is a bit of a swine. But he's got a nice throttle body set up. Oh! Sounds perfect. Yeah, she's blowing. So that's the end of Nave's night. Sorry, bad. Thanks, Fiesta, too. So Nave's going home. Say bye, Nave. <laughs> Alright, so we got a nice focus to stay. What's this? 1.8. 1.8. Looks really nice, actually. Nice little track spec. You don't see many uh, Focus Estates. I think he's on YouTube, AJ Wagger How. Looks nice. Right, so we're wrapping up. I'm finished. And these tyres run in the ADOADAR on the front, Federal on the back, which I've kind of run for, for a long time, were better than the AO48. So, anybody thinking of buying an old set of AO48s? 
chucking a load of tyre softener on them and then hoping for the best, just don't do it. I mean, they're really old, the ones that I had. I, I tried my best, I had no confidence in the car. The back end was sliding, was moving around. As soon as I put these on, about one and a half seconds quicker. So the best time I'd done on the AO48 was 125.0. Uh, high 125. I'll put the times down. Well, you'll probably see it on lap time now. But in a bit of traffic and with not the best lap, but then a 124. Four. But finishing off the evening, yeah, there was so many cars trying to get out. Two red flags. And uh, one of the red flags was AJ Wagner. How I saw his car out there, far out, right out in the gravel. But anyway, it's all good fun. We had a good night. So I'm going to wrap this one up now because Dai's got problems. His TPS is gone. So we've got. 170 mile drive ahead of us, but we've got to swap his TPS before we go. So, hey, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.